one. Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesign.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. It's over there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. So I've got several projects going at once and stuff is drying and I got to get stuff done and blah, 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 blah. So here we are. And this is another doom pile project. So I don't know, like a year and, a, and an age. I don't know. It was a long time ago. It was more than a year. It was probably... My victory was very little. I picked up a bag full of these. It says a dollar each on them, but I think I got the whole bag of these little cordless things for really, really cheap. And uh, I, I haven't done a thing with them. But I also got these somewhere along the line, and I'm seeing a hook. Like, just a little hook, right? So I sold a bunch of these with glass doorknobs, but I'm going to hold on to these for another time because I hate these. Like I hate these. These are like a Hobby Lobby handle. And I got this like in a box of drawer pulls a long time ago. And this may have even been from the OG. I don't know. They've been in there a long time, but I don't use them because these end up sticking through the back of a dresser and then you got to cut them off. And then there's a sharp bit and they're a pain in the butt. But <laughs> for this project, they'll work great because it'll go through here with room to spare. I can use the nut that's already on it to tighten it down and then trim off the end and, you know, I'm going to embed it a little bit into the back after I drill the hole and I know where it goes so that I can kind of cut it off flush with the back. And then if this hangs on someone's wall, you're not really going to have to worry about the fact that there might be a little thing sticking out there. In a dresser drawer, I hate these because all I'm thinking is... Then your underwear gets snagged on them or your, your stockings or your bra or something gets caught on a burr that you didn't get off there quite right or gets stuck around it and rips. And uh, why they make these, I don't know. Like, it's just as easy to include two um, screws that are the right, you know, they're, they're usually there's two depths of screws that you get when you get drawer pulls and it's like one's a little longer one's a little shorter and then the one that's a little longer it seems to always be just a little too long and the little short one is the one that you usually go with so I don't know I, I'll to the day I die I hate these things I hate these things but we can use them up and get them out of the doom pile and I have I think four of these I may have taken them off another project. I'm wondering if that was the case. But anyway, whatever the reason, um, I have these. I have a bunch of these. Let's marry the two and get them out the door. You know? So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to take this apart because um, it has a little spacer to protect your drawer. We don't need that. You don't need it at all. And I'm going to get you guys facing the surface. So all I have is my drill, a bunch of bits, and my drill, a fully charged drill, a bunch of bits, the bits we got to find the right size for. Y'all know how to find the size. All right. So I have my multiple sizes. I'm going to guess that this is the one. And then I take these and I put it on the end and I go, yep, <laughs> that's, that's the one I need. <laughs> and then to countersink it, um, I don't have a fancy countersink. I grab, just lost my drill bit. I, I uh, grab the largest one I have so you can see they're two different sizes. And then I will use this to dr drill out the back. So those are the two drill bits we're going to use. 
to make this hook. Don't forget it's there. Because when I need to put these away, I'm going to forget that's where I put it. And I'm going to be looking on the board back there. Y'all can holler at the screen and go, it's on there. It's on there. Let me get my uh, drill bit that fell on the floor. Get you guys switched around and we'll make us a hook. I feel like this is going to be one of the easiest doom pile projects I have. So that means something bad's about to happen. Um, I'm going to drill through. If you're doing this on a good surface, can I recommend you put a board underneath this? So, Because I'm going to drill right through the back. But this is not a good surface. This is a work surface. It's been drilled into before. But, you know, protect your surfaces. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to make sure that's in the center. As much of a center as I can make it. <laughs> off center <laughs> of course it is and then it looks like this is going to need to be painted I thought these were already painted so glad I didn't buy this for my house thinking they were already done oh gosh turn it out a bit more Ta-da. Now it's a hook. Okay. So let's do that countersink. Get this painted up. And we'll be good to go. All right. Change out our drill bit for our big one. And then I'm going to just right over the same hole you put the large drill bit and just whoop now if you have a cattle bit this works better i don't think this is wide enough it's not i think i do have a paddle bit don't i or no you know what i have an even bigger drill bit an even bigger one. This thing's huge, actually. This is from my Dowling jig. More than enough. <laughs> yeah, more than enough. Okay. Yeah, that'll fit. So before we put all that together, let's give it a coat of paint. <sighs> and I'm going to have to clean it up here so you can see my $1 price tag there. And when I say I have a bag of these, y'all, I have a bag of these full. I did not pay a dollar a piece for them. Uh, there was like a there was a sale. I remember it was way up north. I'd gone on a girls weekend with my friend. We were at a junk shop, and this was at the junk shop. And they had the whole bag full, and there was some price, bag price for it, and I bought them. And then promptly did nothing with them till now. So I'm going to get this painted up. marked with the red marker where to cut and then my husband took this outside and you can see trimmed it off and removed the burr because I don't have a bolt cutter but he does still not sure enough but okay that's not gonna work is it 
You should have told him below the red line, below the red line. Too freaking long. I hate these screws. Freaking hate them. They're the worst. And there's our little hook, except I forgot to tell him to cut it below the red line. So, of course he did it above the red line. Now I'm stuck with it. That's going to leave a mark on someone's wall. I'm annoyed, but this would be so cute. So I guess this is a doom pile fail, unless I can get him to cut it shorter, which will annoy him, but here we are. Anyway, that's my project. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm bummed out. I'm out of time for the day. And this cannot be this way. Gotta be shorter. Nothing I can do. Damn it. Okay, so I asked my husband if he would cut them shorter and he took the thing and it's been like 45 minutes and I have to go to bed. So I guess the project's going to be finished. Whenever. So that was my project for the day. Would have been cute. It was kind of cute for a second. I did text him and say, you know, I need to go to bed. I want to finish my video. And I haven't heard back from him. So I will eventually get it. It'll eventually get done. It's been a day, y'all. It has been a day. <laughs> Okay. Thanks for watching. Happy chunking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.